Fight number four, we're ready for action here. That's Duke Viraport from the Netherlands coming out first in the red corner, 77.65 kilograms. And his opponent is Ryan Mills. And this is fight number four. Frank, do you know much about these guys at all? Well, I know I'm going over what's been said going into the fight. The both guys are going to jump in there and throw hard and throw fast. And that could have its advantages where you can catch your opponent. But a lot of times when you just kind of throw caution to the wind and you're aggressive, that's also too, you kind of, you, you, you take technique out ever so slightly and you make it a little bit more of a coin toss, more of an equal battle. I prefer to try to set my opponent up and look for things, but you could get its high risk, but also a uh, high reward. And Sam, Ryan Mills, he's overall game. With And Sam Greco, Ryan Mills, as we just said a little earlier on, you know his game overall. How do you think this is going to go and what do you think his game plan is going to be? Look, I think Ryan Mills will try and drag Jorip in to his game plan and not allow him to, uh, to dictate. Um, I've seen him do it before and I'm, I guess that he'll do it again tonight. Um, he's a man who just loves putting guys in different positions um, and just taking advantage of the opportunity there and then. Okay, technical? Technicality-wise? Yeah, look, he's very technical. He's a technical guy, but give him the opportunity to hit you and he will, without a doubt. Uh, so, you know, Job's going to have to be on his game. Okay. And Frank, a question to you. When you've got a very technical fighter in front of you, you might have the strength, you might have the, the ground game. How do you how do you combat that? How do you overcome a guy who's got technique? You know, in boxing you've got if you've got good hands, you got you, to beat your opponent. You've got to have better hands. So you make it ugly. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're not going to win a sniper battle back and forth. He's technical if they can position themselves. But if you can grind them, get on top of them, uh, rough them up. That's how you get a technical fighter and drop his ability down. Fight number four. We move to our welterweight division. First of all. In our red corner, ladies and gentlemen, he weighed in at 77.5 kilos. His record stands at two fights and one victory. Fighting out of the Elite Training Centre in Melbourne, please welcome Ryan Mills. His opponent in our blue corner weighed in at 77.65 kilos. Tonight, his third professional fight Originally from the Netherlands, he now trains at the Australian top team in Sydney. Please welcome you, Berkhoff Barapart. That's your spot there, mate. Pete Mop, referee for this matchup. I need you, we've done it. Right there. Ryan, you good? Yep, you good? Stop! And referee Peter Hickmott gets us underway here in fight number four from Jupiter's Hotel and Casino. That's Jupe Veripot in the ground, 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 ground. blue trunks. Ground. And ground I do apologise, folks, earlier on I called the red corner and the blue corner, but there has been a corner change here. Ryan Mills is fighting out of the red corner. And right now, Jupe has had that guillotine. He has the underhook to keep the shot from happening, but he was really working on the head of Ryan Mills. Oh, nice knee there, I think. Yeah. Like that guillotine, he's going back to it, but right now with the side control that Mills has, it's not the easiest position to get it. He's in half guard on the opposite side of his head. 
long as his feet are over there and his head's on the other side, the guillotine can be annoying. He could wrap someone up. It's extremely hard to get the finish. So they're in a neutral position, you think, there, Frank? Well, no, Brian Mills is in a better position. He wants to start striking. Now he has the back. Went a little too eager for the remake of choke. So he's going to establish the side of the top. There it is there. And I saw a little belly-to-back wrestling there. Kind of lost control there for a second, but now you see Ryan has positioned himself side control, and it's pushed over great to mount. Come on, you Great camera work from our Fox Sports cameramen here at uh, Jupiter's Casino on the Gold Coast. Mm -hmm. With two living Ryan got both of his, both of his hooks, hooks in there. Back. Just hold that. To try to go for the rear naked choke. While he's trying to get back up to his feet and build out and get away from the uh, the hooks, he has to be very cautious of his neck. Because you can lose the battle and lose a position. Yeah. But if you get choked out, you've lost the war. The fight's over. Yeah, you have. Absolutely. Well, there he is. It's getting close. Momentarily, Ryan's kept his pressure on from the word go from the belt. Frank, I mean, in this position, let's look at this this position right now. Joey, if you were Joey, what would you be trying to do right here, right now? Well, right now, he needs to control the hand that's behind his head. Oh, he's in trouble. It's too little, too late. <laughs> yep. I suppose the answer to my question was tap. Yes, you have, <laughs> there was a certain point where it's like, how do you get out of this? Well, you tap. Uh, he was trying to position to get out, but he, the, Ryan Mills did a great job of locking up the neck. Once that hand goes behind the head, it's just too much pressure. And it's always hard to get out of those positions. Another first round stoppage here tonight at Jupiter's